where someone say is dealing with hemorrhoids, so is about 10,000 others, <laughs> because this is part of the problem of losing our connective tissue integrities and things. You know, uh, I suffered with those myself from extreme constipation, and that all came from dairy products. And so as you move away from these constipating foods, you still have these weaknesses that have uh, accumulated. And this is a vascular wall weakness. You also want to make sure about the parathyroid gland. You want to take a look at your fingernails and everything else. And this is a case where, this is from Portland, Oregon. Um, they took the broom. When you have hemorrhoids, I probably would be cautionary with the GI broom because it's going to be real strong and it is going to bring these hemorrhoids out. Matter of fact, mine had went away for a long time when I started on raw again. Oh my God, they came out like a nightmare from hell. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just kept, I didn't have herbs at that time. And uh, I just kept doing raw and kept fasting and kind of working it out. And they strengthened up and never had the problem ever again. The ultimate immune might help you a little bit in that way. Uh, the ginsengs can help a little bit that way. Adaptogen type herbs can help in that way. But truly, you want to make sure the parathyroid gland is kicking or actually spend uh, maybe a bottle with the uh, parathyroid gland. At the same time, lots of kelp for the calcium and stuff. And then uh, go lower circulation, which is strengthens the vascular walls. And you just got to keep cleaning and strengthening, cleaning and strengthening, cleaning and strengthening. Because this shows acid toxicity, no question, and the loss of calcium out of structure. But vascular wall weakness is very common due to the high protein consumption of man. So he's lost a lot of calcium from eating high proteins. That's the uh, nature of the beast. Uh, look to your parathyroid gland. Get on a, a glandular for the parathyroid gland. It'll start giving calcium utilization. Use a lower circulation formula. Start strengthening the vascular walls. Now on a detoxification, if you ever had hemorrhoids, you could have them bad from detoxification because weaknesses come right out in your face. Hemorrhoids though. Again, vascular wall weakness. So you want to strengthen that. And with what uh, Let's see if this was a, no, this is another one. Think about parathyroid gland. So you could use a parathyroid glandular or use the uh, endocrine gland tincture. Uh, I would also uh, use the bones formula and lower circulation. Uh, to strengthen the vascular wall. Uh, all the fruits, berries, and melons are full of flavonoids. They strengthen the vascular walls. So all those things together help to do that. Um, you could do some short little short little enemas uh, uh, with heal all tea, help to strengthen the wall topically like that. But this is an internal uh, connective tissue issue. And connective tissue goes right back up to the parathyroid again. So look at that. Would a three-day water fast be helpful for hemorrhoids? Yeah, I think it would be. I think it would be. But check your parathyroid gland and calcium utilization for hemorrhoids. No different than any other vascular wall weakness. So you want to make sure you're utilizing calcium and strengthen the vascular walls. Lower circulation would be good for that as well. And you could use, uh, we did have a prolapsed organ or a strengthening organ, but a bones formula would be good to help strengthen that vascular wall. So lower circ, uh, bones, uh, get your parathyroid up and going, uh, and uh, detox your your body, get your kidneys filtering, get your bowels cleaned up and everything else, but uh, it would definitely be helpful.